What is going on guys? My name is Roman back again from Moment of Views here and I am finally back. I finally have internet and everything is all hunky dory. So if you guys don't know, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, which is perfectly fine, I was unable, we had swapped our internet providers and for some reason I was not able to connect through the internet on my computer. I used to do a hard line and then the way it was set up, I couldn't do a hard line anymore to my computer, so I had to do wireless, but my wireless was so horrible. I went, I bought a, I bought multiple things just to make it work, didn't work, so I returned it everything. And then my roommate was able to uh, matrix the shit out of it and hacker manned it, uh, basically a port of uh, access for me. So now I'm basically hardwired once again, and that is all good because I could not even base i couldn't even actually watch a youtube video or anything of the sort with this bad internet but thankfully it is all finally set up and that is all cleaned up so thankfully that's good um and then now that all that is done <laughs> i can get back to uploading some stuff but i want to talk to you guys about the shows that i'm going to be looking forward to the most and shows that i'm going to be reacting to for this winter season which is my god so stacked in fact while i was making my little list right here that I'm about to show you, I actually realized that we are going to be getting an anime adaptation of a manga that I didn't even know was gonna happen because I don't follow much anime news. I kind of just go with the flow. I'm like, oh, cool. I didn't know that I was getting an anime adaptation and all that stuff. So I will talk about that later on. And I'm probably, I'm probably going to be missing a few titles because of just how stacked winter season is. And probably this is gonna be one of the best series of an oh, this best seasons of anime that we'll get in a long time but before i actually jump to it i like to one not actually before even honorable mentions i'm gonna go talk to you guys about a couple titles that i'm not gonna be touching whatsoever simply because i'm either not caught up or have no interest in it most of it's probably gonna be because i'm not caught up first one of course is the number one most anticipated show for the amount of people backing it shinkeki no kyojin the final season i haven't finished past season one i'm a, i'm stuck on season two and when i say stuck on season two i mean i haven't started season two yet i finished season one back when it aired just never touched season two why i don't know call don't call me an anime fan sure that's fine okay <laughs> i just i don't know kind of have other things going on and plus i kind of have a small set of anime that i currently watch and shingeki no kyojin was not on that list will i watch it eventually absolutely am i watching it now no probably not gonna be for a while anyway the other one is going to be Dr. Stone Stone Wars. I know my roommates are actually ridiculously excited to watch that because they love the first season. I've heard nothing but good things about the first season. And I watched half of first season. I think I ended around like episode 6 or 5. I don't really remember which one. But I'm planning on eventually just watching the, the continuation of it. Um, and who knows, maybe by the time this airs in about two weeks, I will get to it. But as of, the, as of now... I have not uh, finished first season, so therefore, Dr. Stone, Stone Wars is no longer on the list. Se same thing with the last few ones I am not caught up is uh, Slime. Slime. I keep on forgetting. Uh, I, I was reincarnated as a slime. I think it was like, I don't remember the actual official English name. Uh, so yes, yeah, Slime, I am not caught up yet. I think I'm close to the end. Uh, I'm currently watching it, but I need to finish it up. Even though I've been spoiled to a lot of stuff. People who have read the manga and I've seen comments. And I'm like, oh, great. I didn't need to know that. So that would put a damper on that. And I believe the, the last one. Actually, there's a couple. A couple more. Uh, the next one that I'm not going to be watching is Log Horizon. I can't get past the first few episodes of the first season. It's just not my cup of tea. But a lot of people love it. I, I, I feel like I really need to sit down and power through it. But... I don't like doing that in the first place, and the first three episodes just kind of didn't really get my attention. Second, uh, the next one is uh, Cells at Work, season two, I believe. Yeah, it's the second season of Cells at Work. Um, main reason, didn't finish the first season. Same thing as the rest. Uh, and I believe the final one, uh, I'm not even counting um, Nanatsu to Tyson. Or, no, not so no Tyson. Uh, fairy Tale? No, that's not Fairy Tale. Oh my gosh, um, Seven Days Since. I don't know why I said Fairy Tale. Um, fairy Tale ended up, I think, a couple seasons ago. Uh, and the last, yeah, and I'm not even gonna talk about that. And the other one was Beasters, second season, because I'm not into that. Not really. I read the synopsis, saw some things, and I'm like, I don't really want to watch that. But other than that, I believe 
there is still a ridiculous amount of shows that look interesting at the very least. Now the first honorable mention I would like to say is Redo of Healer. Main reason why is apparently, I don't, I know, let me just preface this, I don't know a single thing about this series. I just know that a lot of people are quite unpleased with this series. I don't know anything about it. In fact, even the synopsis doesn't show too much about it. Um, but I do know that it is riling up some people in the community and I am all for that because I think the anime community is quite atrocious at times. There are definitely, the majority of them are probably absolutely great, but the vocal minority are the ones I very dislike in the anime community and apparently this type of show is not to their liking. And that just makes me want to watch it even more. So that is honestly on the honorable mention. Will I react to this? I don't know. I do feel like this is going to be a controversial show from what I have heard. Like I said, I don't know much about it. I just know that people don't like it due to what happens in the manga. Do I, what do I know happens? I don't know. I have no, no idea. Will I react to it? Maybe. Why? Because it's controversial. And you know how I feel about controversial stuff. I love it. Because I don't cater to people's like beliefs of everything should be a certain way or just because they disagree with it they it shouldn't exist i completely disagree with it and i heard that there's a lot of anime journalists quote unquote or journalists that are not happy with this so therefore i might watch it and react to it just to spite them so yeah that is the very first honorable mention the second honorable mention is actually something that i had brought up in the shows that i'm not going to be watching because i'm not either caught up or i just haven't watched it but this is a spin-off of cells at work i believe cells at work black yes code black code black so basically i do know the synopsis i've seen good amount of episodes of cells at work but this is the same concept Genders are flipped, so therefore the white blood cell is a badass, and she's a female and could kick my ass, and therefore hot. And it's a red blood cell who's just a guy, who is more of, I'm assuming, more meek, I guess you would say. And the situation is a little bit different. And this, and I believe cells at work, is a normal body, with the exception of some things. There's some cancer cells and all that stuff, and a lot of people were a little bit had their jimmies rustled with the cancer episode i don't know why um but this one is this body that the cells at work these cells are, that are working in is a very damaged body it's a heavy drinker heavy smoker i believe and there's a lot of other stuff that is probably going to be more of a darker turn um tonality and i'm all for that so definitely going to keep my eye open People who have read it, let me know. Do I need to watch the original to get this? Or is it such a standalone that you can, I can watch it without needing to finish first season? If I need to finish first season, I'll finish first season. Um, but do I need to watch um, the first season to understand this? I don't think so because it is a spinoff. And as long as I know the gist of it, I believe I can get along with it. So yes, that is going to be my second, um, second honorable mention and something that I'm looking forward to. Now, the third and final honorable mention was actually something that I had actually explained where I didn't even know that it was going to an anime adaptation, which is Jaku, Jaku Kara, I believe it's Kara, Tomozaki-kun. Now, I had read this manga. I, it's been a while since I've seen it updated. I think it was because I just, the site that I had read it on, got, it got licensed and got taken out. It's probably what happened. And I just didn't caught up with it. I, I need to I actually kind of forgot it existed until I just now. I was like, oh my gosh, that's right. And it wasn't until I read the synopsis because I was reading the synopsis of almost every single show of the season. And this one was like, wait a second, this sounds super familiar. And I clicked on it and then I saw the manga page right here. And I was like, I know this manga. So I, I feel like I've only seen maybe 30 chapters if that's and it's a very it's gonna be a slice of life rom-com um for the most part I, I don't know if there's gonna be much comedy but i actually did like how they portrayed a lot of the um emotions between the female main character and i think it's just a very it's gonna be a good feel good kind of show and it's good it's good insight to people with a certain mentality towards the world and how they are also a gamer. Um, so yeah, that is something I'm actually really interested in. And will I react to it? Don't know. Oh yeah, speaking of which, will I react to Cells at Work Black? Most likely. 
I have a lot of stuff on my plate. But this one, more than likely, I'm probably going to react to it. I do need to figure out. I'm going to go do a time. Um, I'm going to go write up a sheet and figure it out what day, what shows come out on what day and figure out from there. But I'm probably not going to be able to react to a lot of stuff this season. We'll just see what happens. So, but yeah, that is going to end my last uh, title for my honorable mentions. Now, jumping into the fifth most anticipated show of this season, I am going to mess this up. Mushoku Tensei. Actually, I probably got that right. Uh, but the reason why this is actually really low, I know a lot of people, especially another fellow reactor, LAR Games, Lar, he loves this series, and I've started reading a little bit of it. I didn't finish it, especially now that I know it's getting an anime adaptation. But there is one main reason why I'm interested in this show. Now, the really quick synopsis, I believe someone who is in his mid-30s, um, yeah, 34. He is a 34-year-old neat um, who basically gets isekai but he gets reborn as a little kid with the same brain and same mindset, and which is a little bit weird. Um, because you have a 34-year-old man's brain in the body of a kid, uh, for the most part, and he goes on some adventures. Now, I do know that the original source material gets really heavy into some things that happen. Um, something that is more... Akin to someone who should be an adult, I guess you could say. Although, I don't, like I said, I don't know much about the original source material, whether or not the main character has grown up at that time. Um, but one of the characters in the series is honestly the main reason why I'm more interested in this, and that is going to be one of the female leads, which is her name is Roxy. And from what I remember of her, she actually had a spin-off series too. She just seemed like the type of character that I got behind, and I really enjoyed her character arc and well not really arc just her character type and how she handled things i thought it was a very interesting character and it was something that i thoroughly enjoyed reading about so hopefully maybe i do know that this is going to be focusing more on the entire cast not just her so her time might be more allotted to someone else but we'll see what happens i'm going to watch this on my own not going to react to it unfortunately i know some people might be looking forward to that but i personally feel like this is going to be something i want to watch on my own and go from there now, the fourth show is something that a lot of people are not just talking about. This title has kind of been alluded to, and no one's really talked about it, which is a damn shame because the synopsis sounds interesting at the very least, and that is going to be X-Arm. Now, X-Arm is... Uh, let me just read a little bit of the synopsis. Basically, in 2014, the main character is has this phobia of electrical devices, which is a little odd because current e at that time, 2014, I mean, basically any time in the 2000s, I would feel like anyone would, was more mostly okay with electronics but to each his own um but while he is this uh, he is uh afraid of electrical devices like if he were to see this microphone he would probably scream in terror but he happens to be very good at diagnosing them so interesting little aspect right there however he does get killed and basically what happens is 16 years later so 2030 he is he finds himself that his brain has been modified and put into a super advanced AI and super weapon called X-Arm, the name of the show. And so it just it just seems kind of interesting the whole aspect of it. So will I react to it? Maybe. It it looks interesting. It sounds interesting. It's an interesting concept, so I'll see what happens. Maybe he's just gonna be afraid of himself. So the moment he starts um with the show he's just screaming. He's like ah I'm horrible, I'm a hideous <laughs> But yeah, that is definitely something on my list and definitely the fourth most anticipated show. Like I said, for something that I was just like, ooh, this sounds right up my alley, this is only the fourth show. There are so many damn good shows this season and definitely I can't wait to, uh, I can't wait to actually watch this one. Uh, this will be coming out on Mondays, so will I react to it? Yeah. I'm going to be reacting to this. Well, uh, and I'll see whether or not I will adhere to the three episode rule because, again, this is only going to be 12 episodes long, so the three episode rule will definitely apply. Um, but it depends on whether or not I'll be continuing on my own or just dropping the show. But again, we'll get to there when it gets there. Now, the third most anticipated show should be actually no surprise. 
Gotobano Yana Gotobano Hanayome. FF, I believe. I don't know why it's FF. It doesn't look like FF, it looks like actually a music sign. But this is the second season of Quintessential Quintuplets. You all know how much I believe in the gang. I am part of the gang. I am no longer part of the church. I am part of the gang. In fact, I was actually part of the church when I first started reading the series. And I was a very faithful member of the church. I thought nothing could sway me. But then, I don't know what happened. I just was walking down a back alley. And then I realized something. The gang. The gang showed me the real way. The gang showed me who Best Girl is. And they had excommunicated me from the Church of Miku. And I have officially joined the Nino gang. Y'all can fight me if you want. I don't care. You know best girl, and I'm hoping we get to show- I get to- you get to see why I believe Nino's best girl. It, from the anime perspective, absolutely understand why you would think I'm crazy for saying Nino's best girl. Because you've only seen the anime. Fair. I completely agree with you. In fact, I thought Nino was worst girl. Oh my how the tables have turned. I am very curious of how many episodes we're going to be getting. I don't know if we're going to be finishing this or we're getting a third season. Not entirely sure, but if we get a little, if we actually finish the show, I'm actually curious if they're going to follow the actual manga ending, kind of like how We Never Learned decided to do their own thing. Now, if they actually decide to do that, I'm fine with that as long as they pick Nino or a harem. Either way, I'm, I'm down for both. Miko, nah. <laughs> Sorry, Nino. <laughs> Sorry, Miku fans. Eh, Nino. It just mm, mm, mm. chef's kiss on Nino. But yeah, so go to Bano Hanayome. I'm really curious as to seeing where and how they're going to f adapt this show, of uh, the series uh, even further. I thought the first season was a pretty good uh, ad adaptation, and I definitely wasn't mad at it. So yeah, that is going to be my third most anticipated show of the winter season. Now, for the second most anticipated show, it shouldn't come as no surprise, The Promise Neverland, second season. Man, I had such a fun time watching this for the first time. And especially since I went into it with zero expectations, I went into it completely blind, and I was blown away by how they handled the things. I thought the writing was phenomenal, the character development was great, and just overall, the entire setting, the tonality, everything it just had this creepy eeriness when it wanted to. Had this lightheartedness and fun vibe when it wanted to. It was just, it, it knew how to balance these tonality changes very well. Went from anything from funny to ridiculously sad and deep. Very well done. And I keep on hearing that the best arc has yet to come. Um, I did hear that the finale and the last few chapters were not as good, but thankfully that's not going to probably get covered with the second season. Again, this is unknown amounts of episodes, so hopefully we can, it'll still be at the very least 12. And hopefully this arc that everyone talks about, I don't know what arc it is. I don't read much about it because I like being as blind as possible, but... This is going to be a very much anticipated show for a lot of people. I completely understand why. First season was phenomenal. And if if we actually hit this apparent best arc, again, I don't know which one it is or what it is. Um, I think we are going to be getting even better character analysis, development. I don't know, just better everything. And I'm perfectly fine with that. So that is another one that I am absolutely look, looking forward to. Am I going to react to it? Absolutely. And going back to Gotama no Honey, am I going to react to that? Absolutely. And you know exactly what I'm going to be saying throughout probably the entirety of the show. I'm going to be holding up the Waifu Bible and showing everyone who Best Girl is. And I'm probably going to cream every time she's on. But yes, in terms of Promise Neverland second season, absolutely I'm going to react into it. In fact, I think I'm reacting to everything on this list outside of the number five spot. So yeah. I'm looking forward to this show. Can't wait. And of course, if you know who I am, you know exactly what would be number one. ReZero, second season part two, second core. Oh, 
This is going to be a hard season. I got Promise Everland. Heck, I even got Cells at Work Black. X Arm, maybe. Who knows? This se <laughs> this season is gonna be very heavy. Thankfully, I got stuff like um, the gamer the gamer one or redo of healer. If it's funny, I don't know. Or we have something like X or freaking Mu uh, Mushoku Tensei. Something like that would be interesting, and just something that would be a little bit <laughs> more lighthearted. But man, this this is going to be a heavy series, and I think this show, after just watching the very first part, I think this show is probably one of my favorite shows of all time. Is it recency bias? No, because one, I it's been. Cup of, like what two seasons since this aired? Yeah, um, I'm I'm absolutely so looking forward to this. My roommate is looking forward to this. My roommate loves this show so much. He was willing to read subtitles. He does not read subtitles. He's a dub only guy. Same thing with my brother. But he was willing because he wanted to know. Uh, the English dub was quite far behind from the the subs. And he was a diehard fan of the dubs. And I think the dubs are fantastic, don't get me wrong. But he was so just craving the knowledge and just what else was going on that he decided to sit down and me and him, well me, I rewatched it. He was watching it for the first time, the rest of the series, and he was flabbergasted the entire time. I remember I was recording the last episode of the first core and I was uploading it and then I walked out and he walked out of his room and was like Roswell's a son of a bitch and I just started cracking up yeah this show is by far the one of the best written shows in terms of suspense and keeping the reader completely in the dark and having the whole I'm gonna answer a question but I'm gonna give you 50 more questions that you're you're asking yourself now I would say, if you've ever seen it, this show reminds me a lot of the TV show Lost, where it was the same thing, where they would spoon feed you small amounts of information, but then they introduce a bunch more stuff that you're just like, oh shit, now what's going to happen? And this series does that phenomenally. I think this is one of the most, this is one of the most intricate shows that i've come across in quite a while i know there are definitely there's definitely going to be shows that are more intricate or more die more complex i guess you could say but for shows that i'm watching this show is fantastic absolutely 100 percent can't wait for this to show up and i can't wait to react to this again because this is such a good show and depending on how this series ends it's probably gonna crack my top five animes of all times, and it's not even done. And I am a very, very, very firm believer that a show has to end for me to completely judge it. I could not, I cannot see myself dropping this show from a top ten spot as is, unless they were to completely botch the ending, which the series is still going on, so we're not gonna get that for a while. Um, the light novel, unless they completely botch the ending, I'm not going to drop this show from my top 10 list at the very least and depending on how this ends the series the season it's going to hit him to my top five spot if it if it continues the way it's going and how good of a show this is yeah it's gonna hit my top five and you're like well wait a second show's not done yet how can you pick a top five why because it's that damn good i can make my own list damn it <laughs> but yeah I'll, I'll, honestly re zero second season part two second core yeah Absolutely, my number one most anticipated show of winter season. But let me know in the comment sections of what shows I should be at least on the look of, on the, on the lookout because there are a lot of shows. Did I, I skimmed quite a few in all honesty because I knew exactly which ones I was going to talk about outside of a handful here and there. I was like, oh yeah, that's right, or ooh, this sounds interesting. But yeah, just let me know if there is another show. Uh, that you think I should definitely peep, uh, keep an eye on or just at least watch on my own time or just really look into detail because like I said I've actually came across some people's comments and I'm like okay this seems interesting and then I ended up really liking it for example I had no interest in Saga of the Evil but I read a couple comments saying 
you should check it out. And I checked it out. It's one of my favorite, it's one of my favorite shows of that year. Absolutely. But yeah, anyways, that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. What are you guys looking forward to the most this winter season? I already know Attack on Titan is going to be on most people's list. And it's already airing, so, eh. But let me know what you guys are looking forward to in this current season and how stacked it is. And let me know in the comment section below. And definitely let me know what you think I should check, I should keep an eye out on. Because I'm always down for looking at more new series to watch because... I like new things. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.